Today is a very difficult day for me. 2014 has been a very difficult year for me. With a bitter nomination battle, problems in my own party, and health issues from which I fortunately fully recovered. When I first walked into the House of Commons, Jean Chrétien was leader of the official opposition, and I was on a work scholarship as an 18-year-old parliamentary page. I used to sign up for extra shifts during the constitutional debates that would last late into the evening. As a daughter of immigrant parents who fled communism, I felt very privileged and honored to be able to stand on the floor of the House of Commons as our leaders debated the future of our nation. It was an enormously exciting time to be at the nation's capital. There was a palpable hope and enthusiasm that our party was on the cusp of reinvention. As a conservative member, a progressive conservative member, since I was 14 years old, I believed strongly in that party and the direction we were headed. I had the great privilege of working for excellent members, both provincially and federally, and I forged tremendous friendships that I value to this day. The years that I spent working and volunteering for the Progressive Conservative Party were always inspired by a deep motivation to serve. In 2003, I decided to seek elected office. I made that decision because I wanted to play a direct role in improving the quality of life for my community and for my neighbours. I remain motivated by the very same things today that motivated me then. So whether on city or regional council, corporate boards, volunteer organizations, or in the private sector, I learned that the key elements to a strong and successful team were leadership, humanity, and kindness. When I was recruited to run as a Conservative Member of Parliament, I joined with great hopes of doing work to help better the lives of all Canadians. And the most gratifying part of my job has been making a positive and tangible difference for my constituents. From calls late into the evenings with people who want to understand and benefit from programs for their family, to helping those who want to reunite with their loved ones or obtain a visitor visa for a special occasion. Helping Canadians navigate their way through government red tape in order to get what they and their families need is extremely gratifying. I've met with many families who have spent many years struggling. With mounting bills, they can't even contemplate how to save for their children's education or their own retirement. As a government, we were given a tremendous opportunity with a purported surplus to do right by folks. Instead, the government is still about to roll out policies like income splitting, which will devour the surplus without benefiting most Canadian families or creating a single job. These policies are designed to advantage a sliver of the population, the wealthiest while relying on the middle-class Canadians to pay for it. I cannot support mean-spirited measures that benefit only the richest few. After the numbers were provided, even Canada's former finance minister, the Honourable Jim Flaherty, a progressive conservative from Ontario, could not support the impact and the waste of income splitting. I can no longer support mean-spirited leadership that divides people instead of bringing them together. We need a kind, generous, and strong leadership that champions a shared vision for how to make Canada work for everyone. I want to work with someone who inspires, not with fear mongers and bullies. I want to support a leader who strongly and unequivocally respects a woman's right to choose. It is time for a leader who has the ability to rally his team and all Canadians to steer the country in a more positive, productive, and united direction. That leader, is Justin Trudeau. That is why after a long and very difficult period of reflection, I have decided to leave the party that I've served since I was 14 years old, to leave my role as Parliamentary Secretary to Health and to join the Liberal Party of Canada. I'm very proud of the time I've spent in government and I'll work very hard to bring that experience and passion to the Liberal Party and continue to serve my constituents. And I want to thank Mr. Trudeau for welcoming me into the party. I'll be seeking the nomination for the Liberal Party of Canada in the GTA. I look forward to meeting and listening to the Liberal Party members later today when I head back to Toronto to get to work. I will stand behind a leader who demonstrated humanity, compassion and decisiveness when a serious issue like sexual harassment was brought to his attention. He didn't just sweep it under the carpet. I will knock on every door of the riding in order to support, in my own small way, a Trudeau Liberal government this coming election. I did not make this decision overnight, but I no longer feel at home in the Conservative Party, either politically or intellectually. 
this is a very bittersweet day for me. I leave behind a party that I have supported for more than 25 years. A party for which I volunteered endless hours when we had no hope of forming the government. But I have reached deep into my heart and deep into my mind, and I can state with conviction that I am making the right decision. Today, I join the Liberal Party of Canada. I'm proud to follow Justin Trudeau, who will be a forceful, optimistic, and strong leader.